what is the normal range for troponin levels troponin refers to three different proteins that help regulate the con contractions of the heart and skeletal muscles normal troponin levels range from 0, .0 to 0 0.04 nanograms per milliliter the three proteins are tropo troponin C troponin I and troponin T troponin C binds calcium and transports troponin I so muscles can contract troponin T binds troponin proteins to muscle fibers the heart releases troponin I and troponin T into the blood following an injury such as heart attack. High troponin levels usually mean a person has recently had a heart attack. The medical term for this attack is myocardial infarction. Keep watching to learn more about normal troponin levels, what to expect during a troponin test and the treatment options for high troponin levels. What is a troponin test? A troponin test measures the levels of troponin in the blood as a way to check for heart damage. The heart releases troponin into the bloodstream when it sustains damage. Troponin levels in the blood are typically very low, but injuries to the heart can cause them to increase significantly. What is the normal troponin range? Troponin levels are usually so low that standard blood tests cannot detect them. Even small increases in troponin can indicate some damage to the heart. Significantly raised troponin levels, particularly those that rise and fall over a series of hours, are a strong indication of a heart injury. The range for normal troponin levels can vary among laboratories. So it is best to discuss the results with the doctor who ordered the test. Laboratories measure troponin in nanograms per milliliter of blood. Laboratories may use the following as the normal and at high ra risk ranges of troponin. Normal troponin range are 0 to 0 0.04 nanograms per milliliter and probable heart attack above 0. 40 nanograms per milliliter. Having a result between 0 0.04 and 0 0.39 nanograms per milliliter often indicates a problem with the heart. However, a very small number of healthy people have higher than average levels of troponin. Due to this, if the result is in this range, a doctor may check for other symptoms and order further tests before making a diagnosis. Many labs in the United States are now using a high sensitivity version of the troponin test, which the Food and Drug Administration approved in 2017. This newer test can detect elevated troponin levels earlier than previous versions. Doctors usually order a series of troponin tests to monitor how a person's levels change over time. Why do doctors test troponin levels? The most common reason a doctor will test a person's troponin levels is to see if a heart attack has occurred. This is usually done alongside a physical examination and an electrocardiogram or EKG. A doctor will also consider the person's other symptoms. A doctor will not use elevated troponin levels to diagnose a heart condition. Troponin testing, however, allows a doctor to assess the extent of any heart damage, which can guide treatment decisions and help determine whether current treatments are effective. What happens with high levels of troponin? Very high levels of troponin typically indicate that a person has had a heart attack, which can occur if the blood supply to some of the heart muscle suddenly becomes blocked. Troponin levels that are lower but still elevated may point to another diagnosis. 
what causes elevated troponin troponin elevated troponin levels can occur as a result of both cardiac and non cardiac conditions possible causes include sepsis which is a severe and potentially life threatening reaction to an infection entering the blood stream kidney failure or chronic kidney disease heart failure chemotherapy related damage to the heart pulmonary embolism heart infection myocarditis which is inflammation of the heart heart damage from using recreational drugs such as cocaine a traumatic injury to the heart such as from a sudden heart blow to the chest treatment for high troponin levels high troponin levels are a symptom not a diagnosis so treatment will focus on finding and addressing the underlying cause very high levels of troponin usually indicate that a person has recently had a heart attack the treatment for a heart attack depends on whether the blockage preventing blood flow to the heart is partial or complete some common treatments following a heart attack include clot dissolving medications coronary angioplasty which is a procedure that involves threading a small balloon into the coronary artery the insertion of a oil mesh tube to prop open a blocked blood vessel during an angioplasty bypass surgery which involves a surgeon creating new pathways for blood to travel through to the heart muscle to minimize the risk of further heart attacks a doctor will usually recommend lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking losing weight getting more exercise and eating a more nutritious diet a person will likely receive different treatments if their abdomen ab abnormal troponin levels are due to a different cause